Get, Get your, your lotion, lotion off my ocean. ocean. My name is Lily Doan. And I'm Mia Tracy. Hi, I'm Chanel. We are so excited to be able to give you a very warm welcome to episode three of our podcast, Get Your Lotion Off My Ocean. And today we will be diving deeper into what coral bleaching really is and what causes it. We will also talk about coral bleaching and its connection to many sunscreen brands. In the last episode of Get Your o Lotion Off My Ocean, we talked about the dangers of false advertisement and not going sides with sunscreen passing as reef safe, even though they contain the exact chemicals that harm the ocean's ecosystems. Oxybenzone causes coral bleaching and makes it so they are not able to handle the warming of waters as much as they used to. Wow. So, Chanel, how do sunscreen chemicals affect coral reef bleaching? Is there really a correlation? Well, according to a report by the International Coral Reef Initiative, corals typically bleach at 81.7 degrees Fahrenheit, but oxybenzone that is found in most sunscreens causes corals to bleach at 78 degrees, which is typically a non-bleaching temperature. In addition to this, it also completely wrecks the green algae by impairing their growth and the photosynthetic process. This is detrimental because the algae is the base of the whole entire food chain and ecosystem. What happens to the algae ends up affecting everything else in the ocean. We need to take initiative to protect this side of the ocean first. Yes, it also only takes a few hours for these chemicals to cause serious damage to the corals. With people wearing oxybenzone sunscreen, this happens all the time. There are two types of sunscreens, mineral and chemical. What's the difference between the two? The major difference are in the sunscreen's ingredients. Chemical sunscreens contain synthetic compounds which lead to coral bleaching. Oxybenzone is a chemical ingredient found in over 3,500 sun care products. These chemicals can cause damage, DNA, abnormal growth, and deformalities. Sustainable development goals are what scientists are using to keep the world a clean and better place. The sustainable development goal number 12 discusses the consumption and production of products with toxic chemicals. The goal of 12.1 discusses the 10-year plan to achieve worldwide action on this problem. An example of this would be the toxic sunscreen bans in Mexico and Aruba, as well as Hawaii. These bans help us contain toxic chemicals and sunscreen in different parts of the world, and hopefully we're able to spread those bans to different parts of the world as well. That's right, Ian. 14,000 tons of sunscreen end up in the ocean by swimming in the ocean, aerosol cans, and many others. This number is so large that it can affect the coral reefs on a global level. Not only does it cause coral bleaching, but it can also harm the reproductive part of the world. This makes it harder for them to live and harder for them to reproduce, causing the amount of them that live to go down astronomically. That is why it's so important to use safe sunscreens. One great example of a truly reef safe sunscreen is the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen, which is even good for sensitive skin and has an SPF of 30. There are many more that we named in our previous podcast as well that you can look back to refer to. Sunscreen is entering the waters due to the damaging toll chemicals take on the environment. There are several active ingredients commonly found in the chemical SPF formulas that are used to protect humans but hurt the environment as a result. Several studies such as the report published by the Archives of Environmental Contamination and Toxicology in 2015 have shown that when these chemicals wash off our skin and into the ocean, they have the potential to utterly destroy coral reef ecosystems. This damage is unmistakably noticeable. In fact, nearly 90% of coral reefs in the Caribbean have disappeared since the 1980s, according to the study above. It's a global problem, evident everywhere from Hawaii to the Florida Keys, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Now that you all know how detrimental coral bleaching can be for marine ecosystems, we hope that you will make one simple change to your lifestyle, and that is to use reef safe sunscreen. This is such an easy and simple change to make, causing a positive impact on the earth. There are many alternatives to sunscreen brands that do not contain harmful chemicals, and we just need to work together as a society and work to use only them.
It is so easy to help make a problem of coral bleaching smaller. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast and get, get your, your lotion, lotion off my ocean. ocean.